Hello my friends of Hatarila, my name is Ur Montoya, welcome to this tutorial. This tutorial is about how, about how to efficiently apply geology from a shape file with modflow and model muse, uh, with shape file and with global variables. Okay, so what are we going to do? Uh, there is a way that you can apply, uh, there is a similar way that you can apply geology with a value of hydraulic conductivity. But if you are going to do model calibration, and then if you are going to tweak your hydraulic conductivity values, uh, this is not so efficient, okay? So uh, the procedure described in this video is about how can you uh, relate, um, how can you apply uh, global variables, okay? And how can you apply your the, chef, the geological units or uh, your geological units to these global variables, okay? Okay, you are going to receive in the description of this video this folder, okay, uh, compress the, sorry, I have to, to close this, okay, you are going to receive this compressed folder, okay, and then here you have a model, a HJ file and a Excel file, okay, we open the model, the model has only geometry and some uh, river networks, but it has no geology inside, okay? And then the first thing that we are going to do is we are going to open the global variables. Mm -hmm. And then we are going to set up these variables as uh, uh, these, these as hydraulical units. Okay, so we go to data, data sets, we go to required, the, uh, re, no, data, global variables, okay, and then we paste our global variables, okay. Then the value of the global variables is the, are these ones, okay, so, okay, so here we have the, the name and the values, okay, apply and close. Okay, great. So after after that, what we are going to do is we are going to import the chip file, and the chip file will be on chip files, and it will be called geology. On geology, set value for enclosed cells, zero formulas. And on data, we import the kx. Okay, this is the kx, but this is the kx as global variables, and it will be a new data set. Okay create new data set with different name okay and it will be called kx1 so if we go here and then if we go where 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 if we go here uh, if we go to data edit data sets we have the user refiner created this is kx1 okay we can even see this distribution Okay, this is distribution where every where the value is actually um, a name, a text. Okay, don't worry about that. Okay, the following procedure is a little bit time consuming. Okay, uh, but is is worth it because after this procedure you will have all the geology of the model set up as a global variables and it will be much easier for you to do the it will be much easier for you to do the model calibration okay believe me so then we go to here to objects or we can go object show and hide objects okay and there are 16 objects that apply the geology okay so we go one by one for example the first one is the alter um, alteration hydraulic alter hydraulic alteration so we cut this the value that is in between columns and then we apply it to ah no first we have to type that this will be two that will be from the bottom of the the alluvial from the bottom of the alluvial to the bottom of the model okay 
and this will be required hydrology kx this one okay and just to type geology one and this this one okay what do we have done we have cut this this value because this is actually the name of hydrological value hydrological global variable we have pasted here without the columns and then here we have pasted here as well and then here we have set that from alluvial uh, from the alluvial bottom to the bottom of the model okay so here we have okay okay then we apply that for geology 2 for the geology 2 we have that this is a another alteration okay so we this is as well two because this is goes from alluvial rock okay to the bottom of the model okay so we we type it here the name and this goes from alluvial to the bottom and it goes here to hydrology kx and then we paste okay okay geology three is alluvial and alluvial is actually the first layer so this is this goes from model top to alluvial uh, bottom okay this is alluvial and it will be alluvial why not okay geology 4 what is geology 4 is a volcanic rock that will be volcanic rock and this will won't be this will be below the alluvial to the end of the model okay great and then we go to hydrology kx and this will be as well okay so this this and this okay great so we have geology 5 what well, this is another subvolcanic that will go from alluvial to the end and it will be called kx alluvial. okay and this is as well okay we go to geology 6 that is a uh, alluvial as well yeah but it has another value because it has another global variables and this ha is goes from model top to alluvial rock net bottom and it will be uh -huh. Uh -huh. because it's alluvial and here. okay Geology 7, what is Geology 7? It's another, it's another time alluvial, so okay, so it goes from oil top to alluvial rock met bottom, and then here goes as well as alluvial. Geology 8, what is Geology 8? It's another type of alluvial, well, it's a sedimentary that goes on the top of the model. Mm -hmm. so it goes in the first layer and it's like this why not okay geology 9 is another is moraine but moraine is also on surface so here we have moraines model top a little rock mid bottom and then here kx okay deep moraines okay okay great farrat is here farrat uh, this is actually rock so it goes below the alluvial to the end of the one okay and then 
here as well kx okay geology 11 what is is another type of rock most probably limestone goes to the end the suffix and here as well as a global variable set up as a global variable okay geology 12 is this one is another group here that goes to that goes from rock met bottom to the end of the model to the yeah, to the end of the model and hydrology kx here okay geology 13 we have another volcanic volcanic that goes here the suffix and here goes from the alluvial rock map bottom to the end because we consider a alluvial surface that is actually of high K due to weathering tectonics and so required hydrology KX okay geology 14 we are close to the end this is another volcanic this is from this to this okay and then here hydrology kx and we apply the global variables okay great so still two more to go we have another volcanic we have here we strongly recommend that you follow our tutorials okay and then you understand the procedure and then you apply this for you to your case because otherwise it will be really hard just to apply directly to your case uh, you still need to know how the procedure works okay okay and then we are close to the end where we have another volcanic and then here too and then goes from this to this and then here to this and then to this and this okay so we still have two more things to do first is that we have to set up uh, hydrology at uh, the fault value the default value will be a value for the for any rock that we have not defined okay that was 122 and minus 7 okay and then object hide all objects and then we go here instead of kx1 we have we are go here now we are going to do a quality control that we are going to see if the values that we have applied actually are in the model so we have applied mm -hmm. okay great so uh, since there is like a lot of variation let's try to do a log transform not much Whew. one ten to the minus eight will be um, ten to the minus four because uh, is this is just to increase the contrast okay no no further
okay so on the first layer here we have the geology that is the fluvio glacier and this is the another type of lull, and this is the default geology and the values goes from 10 to the minus 5 to 10 to the because fluvio glacier it, it is assumed that it has less uh, more clay and it go, goes to 10 to the minus 7 and here uh, we I'm, I'm looking the values that appear here this is another fluvio glacier and this is another fluvio glacier so all the fluvio glacier are conceptualized as low k values where the alluvial is concept and the weather rock is, conce is conceptualized as a, a high k value okay and then if we go to the uh, because the the alluvial is the first two layers because that appears here on the layer groups the first two layers are from the alluvial and then from that we have the distribution of hydraulic conductivities where we have uh, values that goes from 10 to the mine and here we can do this as well mm, 1 10 to the minus 6 just to, in, just to increase the contrast Yes, to increase the contrast. Okay, so here we have the different values. Okay, so this is 5, 10 to the minus 7, because this is a group of limestone, I guess. This is a alteration. 1 10 to the minus 7 this is a uh, volcanic and so on okay so with this you have the the different layers and then you have this the geology for the complete uh, for the complete um, you have the geology for a complete meso scale model with the corresponding values okay uh, as global variables and then you can from that if with the setting up of your uh, boundary conditions you can start up you can start your um, model calibration okay so thank you for following us this was a step on the model construction and i hope that this step will have brought you some ideas about how you can conceptualize your case and then how can you and then after conceptualize how you construct your model and then the next the next topic will be the calibration of the model that is also a challenge okay so uh, my name is Ol Montoya uh, we are from Hattari Labs we provide you tutorials about um, lots of stuff on groundwater modeling I hope that this tutorial will be helpful for you I uh, hope to see you in coming tutorials. If you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and uh, share it to, to your friends through your social networks. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.